Hi everybody, this is Ronan for RonanBeckerman.com and this video is a response to a comment made on the 10 free HDRI spherical sky maps post on the blog by Alex Stark. Uh, he's writing that he's getting the sky looking too dark and uh, he wants to know what he's doing wrong. So I hope I can make this clear for him and for all of you too. Uh, I'll use the MS House scene to showcase how I use uh, HDRI lighting in my scenes. Okay, so first thing, uh, I'm using a Vera Light Dome to load up the HDRI. As you can see, it is uh, placed inside a texture slot. Uh, I call it Image Sky. Uh, and I've loaded a Vera HDRI map in here. I'll open up the materials. So, this is the this is the material. After I made it, I just drag and drop it, put it right in there, and I also load it up uh, the same map into the environment slot. So I can see that the background currently I have a pure light uh, image uh, HDRI at the background. I'll just switch them instance so you can see it back there. Um, a few things to pay attention to. Uh, the camera settings I'm using are as follows. I'm using a very physical camera. F-stop is set to 11. Uh, shutter speed 100 and film speed 100. Uh, I'll talk more about this, actually write more about this uh, in a post that uh, I'll do later on about the HDR lighting. Uh, but this is kind of a thumb rule. Uh, uh, of how to expose a scene that is uh, partly partially cloudy uh, and get uh, good exposures uh, from real photography in the real world. So I'm trying to set the camera as I would set it in the real world and uh, just adjust all the other things to to match. Uh, this way I can just switch HDRIs uh, as I please, keep the camera settings the same and, uh, and I know I, I can get uh, consistent results. Uh, I'll show you later how I make the switch and how the, the scene looks when this switch is made. So I've loaded up the, the V-Ray HDRI uh, with the with the Viz uh, People on Commercial HDRI version 103. It is a tweaked version. Uh, I'll write about it later on, exactly what I did here. Uh, so I've loaded it up. I made the mapping type spherical and uh, you can play with the rotation, the position of the sun um, you can also play with the horizon, with the vert vertical rotation uh, and this is the value to pay attention to uh, since the camera settings are uh, basically the same uh, I adjust the HDRI to match with the rendering multiplier uh, this multiplier is in effect at render time so that I can uh, see the map as is in the viewport so let's just get uh, let's just get it uh, rendering uh, started. Uh, okay, so this is the map. It's loaded up. I'll render overall multiplier at one. Render multiplier at one. I'll start the active shade using VRT version two. And as you can see, it is uh, under underexposed. Uh, and I'll start to raise the rendering multiplier until I get it uh, right. Now the way to to get it actually right is by sampling the the values of the pixels in the areas that the light directly falls upon. Uh, you can do it in a in a render by sampling the the pixels. Uh, in the actual render. Let's get it up to 35 which was a good value something like that yeah feels right uh, you can play with the position of the sun you can see the shadows and now they will change and get it backlit and as you move along and now from the left side we should see uh, exactly nice long shadow yep okay so this is how you do it uh, this is a 35 
multiplier value to get roughly a good look and feel um, let me change the HDRI so you can see the effect I'll, I've loaded up a pure light HDRI here number 11 the multiplier here is actually 70 uh, not 35 so I'll just uh, switch it with the lights drag and drop it the background will remain the same I need to change it in the environment slot too okay let me match that rotation 59 59 okay So as you can see, I just changed the HDRIs and I'm getting a different look. Didn't touch the camera, uh, even though you might need to adjust a little bit. Uh, but the aim is to get the HDRI to match the camera settings uh, and that will fit in the real world for the same scenario. Uh, this is how I try to do it anyways. Uh, play with it a little bit more so I hope this this helps um, with getting the HDRI to look good and uh, I'll get back the previous one here I'm getting slow down I'll just stop it 